Well, that, that's really a great segue into the theme of this closing conversation. And I really want to think of it as a conversation uh, more than a panel, because a panel implies, you know, top down, and a conversation is really a colleague. It is really a conversation among, among colleagues, um, among people who are in all of our different ways engaged in some of the same struggles. Um, so this is about building alliances, creating coalitions. Everyone here who is at the table uh, has been involved in both labor and community organizations. And the theme really is about both kind of challenges as well as some of the kind of successful strategies in building coalitions, building alliances. There is a wonderful saying from the American labor movement, a blow to one is a blow to all. Um, en golpe a uno es un golpe a, a todos. So um, I'm going to invite um, Adrian Ventura, who is the executive director of the Centro Comunitario de Trabajadores in New Bedford, also indigenous Maya Quiche from Guatemala. Um, so very much in tune with the, the theme of indigeneity. Um, Adrian is going to speak in Spanish. I will translate. He unfortunately is not going to be able to stay for the entire conversation because of some familial and other responsibilities. Um, but I hope that we will all get something out of what he and then the other panelists. And I'm really, I've really just asked everyone on the panel to spend about five or six minutes talking about how they have addressed issues of building alliances, building coalitions, both the ones that have really worked well, because I think we can learn from that, and we also learn from the ones where the challenges have been challenges. Um, entonces, si quieres conversar, entonces yo voy a traducir. Puedo parar. Puedo parar, como me gusta, sentar, bailar, arriba de la mesa. Arriba de la mesa. Gracias, uh, Lisa me va a traducir. Uh, hemos estado trabajando Eh, nos hemos enfocado a la comunidad más eh, vulnerable. So we have been working with the most vulnerable community. Porque sabemos que nosotros enfrentamos eh, varias eh, situaciones porque desde la cultura hay un cambio. So we have been confronting a lot of situations and because through the culture there have been changes, so there's been a change. Eh, también no estamos aquí buscando un sueño, como lo dicen americanos, sino que estamos empujado eh, por el gobierno de Guatemala. So we're not here because we are looking for what they call the American dream, but because we were pushed out by the government of Guatemala. Entonces es así cuando nosotros eh, eh, nos organizamos Pero sabemos que no solamente organizar dentro de la comunidad eh, podemos hacer un cambio. So we know that it's not just organizing within the community that will allow us to make a change. Sino que tenemos que eh, eh, recoger eh, ideas, eh, también buscar alianzas, eh, también unirnos con otros grupos que tenemos el mismo El mismo pensamiento. So we need to both gather ideas, um, to look for alliances, and to unite us with other people who are struggling for the same thing. Un claro ejemplo, eh, estos últimos meses hemos luchado para el, el, las licencias de conducir en Massachusetts. So one of the things concretely that we've been working on in the last months has been the struggle to get driver's licenses in Massachusetts for unknown immigrants. También a los que están aquí también caminaron con nosotros algunos. So some of you who are here today were walking with us in that fight. Eh, y es así cuando logramos tener esta primera eh, acción en coalición. So that's really the first action that we did in coalition. Eh, específicamente en Boston, tengo un amigo acá, eh, Brazilian Workers Center, que eh, ha sido un gran, gran aliado de CCT en todo este movimiento. 
So we have someone here from the Brazilian Workers Center that has been a tremendous ally to us at the Centro Comunitario up in Boston um, at the Centro Comunitario de Trabajadores. Digo esto porque... Which is, déjame traducir, it's a workers community center or community workers center, which is a completely work... I didn't do the entire introduction, but it is a center that was founded and is entirely run by immigrant workers themselves. Y también eh, nos unimos que un movimiento cosecha que también fue una, un, un, un grupo clave, como le decimos nosotros, ellos fueron más calles, o sea, más, más directas las acciones. So we also united with a group that is called cosecha, which means um, harvest in Spanish, and they were really kind of more street smart than us, they were very involved in direct action. Y es así que logramos nuestro objetivo. Y lo mismo, queremos seguir con esto, como lo decía la compañera anteriormente, eh, eh, estamos todavía en una fase de educación a todos nuestros hermanos que moviéndose de Centroamérica, de Latinoamérica, del Caribe, que se mueven para New Bedford, eh, empezando conmigo, no sabemos nada de la cultura acá, y, pero... CCT se ha encargado de educar, organizar y tomar acciones. So, um, I'm not going to get all of that, but um, we achieved our objective and we, are wanna, we want to continue. We find that when people are coming here from Central America, from Latin America, from the Caribbean, people come here, we ourselves came here, we didn't know anything about the culture here. Y es el logro que tuvimos con la licencia, se están beneficiando nuestra familia, nuestros amigos, y todo en general, los migrantes ahora ya están feliz manejando su, su carrito eh, sin miedo, porque nosotros cuando manejamos anteriormente tenemos que mirar al retrovisor quién viene y solo miramos un policía, el corazón nos empieza a latir. <risa> So this is really a tremendous achievement. It benefits our family. We are able to drive without having to look over our shoulder, look in the rear view mirror all the time, because when we would see a police vehicle, we, our hearts would just start to go a little crazy. Entonces, pero ahora, más sin embargo, estamos marcando otro paso en un grupo, coalición nacional, pero estamos dando otro paso más. Eh, puedo mencionar, mm -hmm. como decimos, la acción diferida que tenemos, eh, estamos juntando eh, coaliciones a nivel nacional para que eh, no solamente nos quedamos en la licencia, sino que un documento para los hermanos migrantes. So we are now moving on to the national level and part of an alliance or coalition at the national level for a program that is called Deferred Action, which is a new program by the Department, voy a explicar lo que es. It's a department from, uh, program of the Department of Labor that allows unauthorized immigrants in this country to apply for a work authorization. Um, and this is something that is extremely important um, for immigrant workers to be able to work. So what CCT does is educate organize and take action. And so we're working on it. The CCT is working on a national level. Um, I say we because I worked with CCT for the last 15 years. So sorry, a little es así, lack of distance. Es así que nosotros eh, estamos marcando algunos pasos para que nuestra comunidad entiende eh, la educación que damos constantemente. Ahora llega, llegan de 60, 70 personas a nuestras charlas todos los miércoles y seguimos eh, practicando el poder, como le llamamos, para que tengamos esa voz como ustedes lo tienen ahora. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is how we are taking steps. So we are finding that 60 or 70 people come to our talks every week um, and that they are learning that they have a voice like all of you here have. Y esperamos también que ustedes se unen a nuestra, a nuestra lucha a nuestras metas, así nosotros podemos eh, caminar sin miedo, como dice un dicho, sin miedo al éxito. Mm -hmm. So we hope that you will join us in this struggle so that we can all walk together um, without any fear. Muchas gracias. Thank you. <laughs>